All right, so I'm going to show how I like to use Google's AI products, Notebook LM. I have the Plus version, which is $20 a month, but you can actually get quite a bit of power out of even the simple version. So what this does is it can take a ton of different resources, whether they are personal PDF files, whether they are website pages, or whether they are YouTube videos, and it will put them all into this AI system where you can ask questions, sort of like chat GPT. So one example here is I uploaded the last 300 episodes of a YouTube show slash podcast called Jimmy Aiken's Mysterious World. And so I'm going to get his viewpoint on a number of things all in this one chat bot. So for example, let's say I want to know um, what does Jimmy think about baptizing aliens? So instead of going through all the different episodes and finding out one where he might have talked about this topic, I can simply put it in the chat bot. And if you look over here, you'll see a bunch of information. Um, there's no church teaching on alien baptism and then all these different things. And what's great about this, as opposed to something like chat GPT, is that every statement that it makes in these summary statements will have a hyperlink and you can see exactly what he said. Uh, you can see that I'm scrolling through the, um, the actual text that he has. So what it's doing is it's scraping the transcripts from YouTube and it's putting this all together. So how do you do this? How do you get YouTube videos in here? Well, the slow way is uh, once you've opened up one, these are called notebooks. Once you've opened one up, you click on add source. So you can upload files. You can put a website, Google Slides. If you click on YouTube, you just paste the YouTube link. Now, this can get a little bit tedious. So I'm going to show you a way that you can do this more quickly if you have a long playlist of episodes. So for example, let's say I click on this playlist from Remnant Radio, and they've got eight videos featuring Sam Storms. Let's say I want to upload all eight videos to a notebook. Instead of copying, pasting them one at a time, I want to batch put them in as sources. So I have this uh, extension for Chrome apps. This is Edge browser, but it works on any Chrome based browser. It's called Notebook LM YouTube Turbo. It's a free extension. Once you go to the playlist or even a, just a regular search on YouTube, you click on extract U YouTube URLs. And once it's done that, it's identified all eight of these videos. You click on go, go to Notebook LM and it's going to go to my home page. I'm going to create a new notebook click on YouTube and you can see that it's taken this spot right here. I just click on paste, insert, and then I just click, keep on clicking add source, YouTube, insert. And so this still involves some clicking, but it only takes, it, it takes a lot of the steps out of individually pasting all these different YouTube videos. So I just have two more to go here. And now I've got all eight of these videos, all the transcripts are on here. So I can type in something like, what does Sam Storms think about tongues? And it's going to search through all those transcripts of every video on that playlist. And it's going to give me a summary of what he believes about tongues. You got all this information. Um, it's primarily prayer, praise, and thanksgiving. And then it's going to show me exactly the transcript where he talks about it. So this is a great way to just bring a bunch of information together and uh, cross-reference it. So some of the other things, um, I put together this notebook. It's full of old parapsychology journals. So I'm going to show you here. Um, a lot of these old journals are um, public domain. You can get them on the Internet Archive. But you look at, for example, the, um, the first volume of the Journal for the Society, Journal for the American Society for Psychical Research. This is 630 pages of information on psychic studies and things like that. And to find particular information, it would just be a monumental task. You would never get it done. But by downloading tons and tons of these online journals and uploading them to here, I can put in a query. And for example, there's the famous um, physical medium named D.D. Hume, and he was famous for his levitation. So if I want to find out information about that, I can say something like, what is the evidence for D.D. Hume's ability to levitate? And it's going to search through all these old journals from the American Society for Psychical Research, and it's going to send me all the information about it. So um, 
Sir William Crookes was a well-respected scientist that had, had observed some of these levitations. And it's going to bring me, as I click on this, it's going to bring me to the journal entry. You can see I'm in volume one right here. And uh, it's got a reference to somewhere in that um, journal where he talks about his testimony. Um, and then you have other references that are going to send you to other journals or other files in your sources. So here's from um, volume 15 from 1921, uh, how we had um, a witness handled him above and below while he was in the air. So you're getting all this collaborated um, information about this one question across tons of different journals because you've uploaded them to the same source. Um, another notebook that I put here is, let's see here, the Christian Parapsychologist. I'm a member of um, this organization, so I was given access to 50 years worth of this journal. And so I can type in uh, a question like this. Um, what are some effective ways to resolve a haunting? Let's see what the Christian parapsychologist has to say. This is going to search through all 50 years of entries to see if there's anything relevant that's going to talk about it. And look, I'm getting a bunch of hits here. There's um, looks like we have over 20 different sources that talks about this um, exorcism counseling, uh, doing a requiem mass. Um, and you're going to see stories from pastors that have done this and people that have studied it um, and uh, critiques of it and um, just different perspectives. So what you can do with this is, is incredibly powerful. You can put in tons of YouTube playlists. If you've got a bunch of personal documents on your folders, then you can do that. Uh, just to give one more example, I'm going to create a whole new one. And I showed you before doing this with Logos Bible Software, adding personal books. And this is actually becoming a much more effective research tool for me than the Logos functions. Uh, I have here all the transcripts from Michael Heiser's Naked Bible podcast and some of his blogs. So I'm just going to drag these over. These are all PDF files. And it really doesn't take long for it to upload and then integrate into the system. So once I have all these here, I'm, I'm going to think of a question. Um, for example, we'll just type it here. What does Michael Heiser have to say about divination in the Bible? I'm going to copy that question here. And as soon as this is done uploading into the system, I'm going to be able to ask it that question. Okay, so uh, as I uploaded these transcripts from Michael Heiser's podcast, I ran into a snag, which is this is actually an 8,000 page document, which is very long, obviously. And I was reminded that there are limits to PDF files and resources, each individual source can only be up to 500,000 words long. So this means that if you're looking at 400 words per page, you want to be around, you know, a source no longer than 500 pages. Uh, I'm just ballparking the math there. So with that particular resource, I'm going to have to split it into several ones. But in the meantime, I uploaded many other papers by Michael Heiser. So I'm going to go ahead and try to ask that question that I had earlier. What does Michael Heiser have to say about divination in the Bible? Oh, it looks like he says nothing. Let's see. Um, what does Heiser have to say about the term Elohim? All right, so now we got a hit. Uh, lots of different things that he said across his different papers. And like usual, these different numbers are going to take you to different papers. Right, right here, monotheism, poly, polytheism, and monolatry. Um, his paper there. Um, this Elohim as gods from the Faith Life Study Bible. All these different things. And I'm going to put in the description a link to download all these Michael Heiser resources. And once I split up that uh, transcript file from his podcast, I'm going to have a lot more resources. And some of those other questions I asked earlier, I will get answers to. So I really recommend this product. I'm going to go back here and just um, show everyone what the limits are. Um, you can have up to 100 different notebooks. Each notebook can have up to 50 sources. 
and each source can be 500,000 words long. You get 50 chat queries per day, which is pretty generous. And then you can do audio generations. You get three of those per day. You can actually generate a podcast based on a source. And you can do some more fancy things like create a study guide, FAQ, or a briefing doc. And I have the plus version, which is um, it's $20 a month. And with the plus version, you get more of everything. You can have up to 500 notebooks, 300 sources per notebook, which is really useful if you're uploading a lot of journals into a notebook. And then you can up to 500 chat queries per, per day and 20 audio generations. So I'm just sharing how I like to use it for my own research. Uh, there is so many potentials with this sort of thing, especially if you are able to find a lot of public domain works or open access journals and things like that. It's a very, um, very elegant tool and it's only going to improve in the future.